Hi folks, it's Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a furniture painter and I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. In the video you're about to watch, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy cardboard template to create a scallop design on furniture like on the piece behind me. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make the template out of cardboard. So you want to get a piece of cardboard that is roughly the same depth that you are going to want your pattern to come down your furniture by, if that makes sense. So you don't want something huge um, that's going to flap about and get in the way. Equally, you don't want something too small because you're going to then have to kind of make sure that it's level all the way around. So I'm using a piece that I can run and across the top of the piece and I know that those patterns will be the same distance down all of the way around the piece of furniture. Then I've just got a tin of Best Ang Wax to use as my template. Um, if you wanted smaller scallops you could use something smaller to give you a more petite design or if you wanted something larger you could use something like a side plate or a bowl and then what you need to do is cut out your template. Okay, next we are going to trace the outline of that template. The beauty of cardboard is that it will bend around corners, which means you can get a nice continuous pattern around your piece. I'm just using uh, one of my kids' white crayons because I'm using a white coloured paint uh, for my design. If you are using pencil, just bear in mind that that could show through the paint colour depending on the paint that you choose for your pattern. So you can see here that having that straight edge on the very top of the piece of cardboard is paying off because it means that I can level up that piece of cardboard going all the way around the piece of furniture and the pattern is going to be consistently at the same height all the way around. It's not going to be going uphill or sloping downhill. Um, so it's really handy if you can get a piece of cardboard with a straight edge. Okay, you can just see the faint outline of that white crayon line. It's very technical, um, this process. I'm obviously joking. Um, this is the easiest way for me to do this pattern because um, if I tried to do it freehand, then I would end up with a very, very wonky, uneven pattern. So this is the easiest way for me to do it. It's not the only way. There are plenty of other ways to draw it. Um, but this is the way that is easiest for me. So I'm using a Dixie Bell artist brush and I am just outlining the pattern. I'm also just doing around the hinge while I've got um, an artist brush in my hand. I'm using the colour salt water from the silk range because it doesn't need a top coat. Um, the lilac colour that you see um, on the main piece is also a silk colour. Um, so I'm kind of keeping it, you know, both silk colours there. So I'm just using one of the smaller Dixie Bell artist brushes. I'm keeping my hand on the piece to keep it steady and I'm just tracing that line. And I'm then sort of feathering that line out so that you don't get any brush strokes or any sort of harsh lines within your white paint because obviously that that line is quite thick paint if you don't feather it out it will be obvious when you put the rest of your white paint on and basically you just continue that all the way around your piece 
and don't worry if you mess up I did a couple of times on this all you do is wait for the paint to dry that you've created your pattern with and then go in with a small artist brush and just touch up the area that you've sort of cocked up So I'm just filling in the rest of the top area that I want white and this piece took three coats of white to fully cover over the lilac in total and that's it, it doesn't need a top coat because it's still calling more mineral paint, it has a top coat built in to the paint so I just reapplied it and that's it. So here's a little close-up shot of the detail and the final shot. I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really unique and it just sets it aside from something that is really plain painted. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Let me know if you've got any questions. Drop them in the comments below. And as always, make sure you are subscribing to my channel.